Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create an annual report video using Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. With 2022 coming up, it's time to start thinking about your annual report. You can use Doodly to create an engaging preview to entice them to download the actual PDF version of your report. And that's what we're gonna do today. Our fictional company, Acme for Good, is a nonprofit specializing in farm animal rescue. They finished their most successful year with $30 million in donations alone. And we wanna show off how they were able to accomplish that major success. Over the past year, Acme for Good has had many, many, many accomplishments, but we're gonna highlight about five of them. And then of course have that call to action that I mentioned earlier. As you can see, I've already created kind of this opening sequence and I need to do some fine tuning. I don't want my logo to come on for three full seconds. Instead, I want about a one second appearance. And I'm gonna click the pencil icon and do my favorite maneuver here and choose fade. So it fades on nicely. And then I've got my little farmer and she could be about two seconds long. Same with this little duck. Now this rectangle that's behind my annual report words, no way does that need to be three seconds long. So we'll go to about one second. And I think that's pretty good. Let's take a quick preview. We'll have some music behind that and that'll be nice. I'm gonna go down to video settings and we're gonna change the hand style and we're gonna turn off the erase mode completely off here. Let's go with this hand style. It kind of looks like a farmer's shirt. Now remember, we want to keep this short and sweet and we're going to have a music track in the background. I don't think we're going to do a voiceover today. Now our second scene, we want to talk about what we did over the past year. So let's go ahead and add some text. Something like that. And we want something in the background. We're gonna list these bullet points, but we want some sort of background. So let's see if we have anything that's kind of farm-like. Maybe this barn. And I'm going to click the gear icon and we're gonna turn its opacity down quite a bit. It's just kind of a, a more subtle background element. I think we can go even further. And then we don't want it necessarily to draw on. I think we're just gonna have that in place. So let's list our accomplishments. So number one, rescued 100,000. And now we need our call to action. So again, let's create a scene. Let's farm animals because this is our whole thing, is rescuing farm animals. And our call to action. Let's add an arrow. And again, timing. I know we spend a lot of time on these videos doing timing tweaks, but it's kind of important. So what do we want to have come up first? I think we want our logo first. And I think once again, we want to make sure it fades on. And we want it to come on really quick. Then I think the farmer is a good second choice. It's all about people, as well as the animals, but people are the ones making the donations and doing the work. And then we can draw on our animals and they can come on pretty quickly. 
and then my words are fine and then last but not least the arrow now since this is the final scene we want it to stay on screen for a long time so let's give it a good 10 seconds and we're pretty close this is about almost 40 seconds long and we need some music this oh country time let's try that And as always, we need to shrink the music down to fit. So you just go to the end and you get your double headed arrow pointer and you just slide it over until it fits your videos link. Right click, choose fade out because we don't want it to stop abruptly and then stretch it for a nice slow fade. I think that should be good. Now the music does come on pretty hot, so I like to turn it down quite a bit. If I were doing a voiceover, I'd turn it down to like nine or 10%. But since we're just gonna do the music, I'll go 50%, that should be just fine. Okay, I want to change the order. I want this click below and the arrow to come on before the animals, because we want them to start taking action and then the animals are kind of filler while the music finalizes. I do want to add a little bit of time at the end of each of my first two scenes. So I'm going to go to scene settings. By default, it's half a second. And that's usually not long enough because, you know, once it writes the word, you want to be able to actually read it. But so with this being my last part of the scene, I want it to write 2021 annual report. And then I want a few seconds to absorb that. And then same with the accomplishments. We don't want it to say introduce the line of vegan products, boom, and then off it goes. We need to have a little bit of time to read that. And likewise, between each of these bullet points, I'm gonna put a little bit of a delay just to give people time to read and absorb that accomplishment. Like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Wow, they did make up that award. That's awesome. So I think that will be good. And since I did add some time, we need to stretch this out. The music. And you know what I forgot? I forgot their goals. So <laughs> we need to add one more scene. And this happens sometimes. And it's super easy to insert a scene. So you just go over here. Right click, select insert, and here we go. Here's a brand new empty scene right before our final one. And we want to put our goals here. So we're going to use this font for our goals. Nice and big. And again, it's just going to be a pretty basic list. Now we're going to type in the goals. And finally, let's stretch out our music. <laughs> I want to make one more change. Uh, this is going to say now available. And the reason why is because this is a teaser. This isn't the actual report. This is the teaser. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna see um, some of the great things and then they're gonna go ahead and download it. So let's say highlight. And that's about it. Let's take a final look and then we'll be done.
And that's the basics of creating an engaging annual report video using Doodly. Thanks for watching.